Hello Internet, welcome back to another Metroidvania map video. You might be thinking, Demogen, you've made maps for Grime already, why are you making a video about it now? Well, if you have seen my Grime maps on Steam or in the many places on the internet that stole them and used them, you'll know that for the release of the Colors of Rot DLC, I am no longer releasing updated versions of the maps on Steam. Sorry. There is, however, a link there to my coffee.com account and, of course, the Google Drive where I've been storing all of the maps. And I have updated the maps for Grime, Colours of Rot, and the new areas are, shall we say, substantial? I think we shall say substantial. I've got some feedback on those areas, and I'm actually going to talk through some of the changes in the different zones in this video. So let us do that. So, here we go. First thing I would like to draw your attention to, there is a readme document in this folder. It is a large readme document, and it goes through all of the updates that I have made for every single map. You'll notice that I've kept the same numbering as I did for my maps for the original game. However, there is a new zone, a new zone which kind of slots in straight after the garden. So I've adjusted the numbering of the last few zones to account for that if there's anything that's not on the map that kind of needs an explanation chances are it is in this document if it's not in this document let me know so we've got 17 maps currently and as i said they go through in the same order as they previously did the weeping cavity no really significant changes in the weeping cavity there's two I think, essentially, down here, this room with the slow tippy toe walking, that room is still there, but it doesn't show up on the map. And that is a common theme that you will see as we go through these maps. Um, certain rooms on the map have been removed. I'm not entirely sure why, and I actually think the uh, the lack of some of them is to the detriment of the, the map's overall readability. So I've added them back in from my original maps because they're in the same places and I've still got the original graphics. Um, so yeah, the slow walking room is still there. You can now get the mole sword at the end of it as opposed to one of the two nail scythes that, that were originally in the game. There is, I believe, only one nail scythe now unless I've just not found the second one again. The other change, uh, well, actually, no, there's two other changes. This here, this passageway here, between this little nub and this little nub, there used to be a passageway that opened up after you beat the Amalgam. I don't know whether it was just the version that I played, but that doesn't happen anymore. So realistically, the only way you can get up there is actually much later in the game if you go around this way. I don't know why. Also, you need the self-pull in order to be able to get up there. Now, so getting to that skewer, which you used to be able to do by defeating the Amalgam going back up through here, uh, you can't do that until way later in the game. Now, I don't know whether that's intended or whether my run-through just bugged, because I've only done one run-through so far. The the third and final change to this zone, apart from you know the odd change to what items are in which areas, um, there's a new link here. Uh, a secret through to the ear den or ear den or whatever you want to call it um it's got a new enemy type there which you can kill for an early um an early look at a new trait but otherwise everything on the weeping cavity is the same unformed desert there's a handful of changes here first of all on the actual in-game map this nerve pass room doesn't show up the nerve pass is still there um there's just a blank wall again i didn't like just having the nerve pass kind of sitting out in the middle of nowhere so i've been through and i've uh again added the old room in a couple of things have moved location the boulder plates are now down here that ardent sand has moved across because of one of these new naker runners um these are like crystal lizards essentially from dark souls except they're a little bit more puzzly in this because obviously it's a 2d game he will teleport away and he's going to end up there which is where the boulder plate hands originally were he'll be kind of lurking there because that's a little bit of an, a secrety room so he'll teleport two or three times and you can find him there um Hyod, 
once you find him for the first time, rather than selling the mole sword, he sells the bow axes instead. Same price, I believe. Um, or I might have changed that already. I don't know. Everything else is still the same in this area. I do need to double check that, actually, because I've just remembered I haven't. But there is a new platforming section up here, which you need self-pull for. Um, unless I missed something... All you get for it, keep it in mind that it's actually kind of annoying. All you get for it is 10,000 mass. I don't think that's really worth it, but it's there anyway. Again, unless I did miss something. And there's also an unformed body under here, which I don't recall what being there last time. If it was there in the base game, I've missed it for over 12 months because um, it wasn't there on, on my map. So that's all the changes to the unformed desert lithics had quite a few changes again there are several areas in lithic where rooms have been removed but they're still in the same places and the loot that is in them is still mostly the same though that's different um but there's also a new nerf pass and there's also uh, a section up here with a new armor set and a section up here with a new armor set you need the hoverability to get there so that's very much a late game thing for backtracking and likewise you can make your way up here with the air dash but then you'll hit a door there which you can't get through it looks like it's it's one of the big doors that's got the the kind of closed hands over eyes thing it looks like the doors that you need the unsealer to get through it doesn't work on that maybe it was supposed to but it didn't for me so i had to wait until i could go up there and then jump all the way across and use hover to get down and you could destroy it from the other side so not entirely sure there's another uh naker runner there who kind of runs down this way uh, and he actually runs all the way into the nerve pass room in case you were thinking where the hell has he gone um the art trader does disappear as he used to in the base game when you when you defeat the moms but you can get his stock later on in the new area i don't think there was anything else in here that got changed there's a, an extra ardent sand there again a lot of the little things are all noted on the change log but yeah mostly it's just going through and adding back in certain kind of areas that i thought actually helped show the connections in the uh, the zone a little bit more nerve root not a huge amount of changes again in nerve root the odd little area removed um, but the big thing is that when you come down through the zone from the world pillar the first time you make your way all the way down through here you get to nerve root you'd see the thing for the beacon and there used to be a lightningy thing there which you couldn't get through um it's 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 now just gone or at least again it was for me and to the right of this beacon that is our first new boss enemy um which you get the sprint dash from i am not a huge fan of the implementation of the sprint dash currently because you can dash in the air and hold the button and it won't sprint when you land which i kind of feel like it needs to do currently it's very much a you have to be on the ground when you dash um, and you can't jump and retain your dash momentum either if you keep on holding the button it cancels every time you jump it doesn't feel great um the discarded device which used to be down here has been replaced by the bow daggers this area here um which you got the wayne blood set from that's still there but that actual area connects up to the new zone so you don't need to uh to do this particularly irritating at times platforming challenge if you don't want to um there's a naked runner up here you get up there he will just teleport around in, in that kind of loop no other big changes that i can remember in this particular area but there is a a new kind of way of of getting down here this 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 section here is is also new which you know allows you once again to get to childbed um fairly early on 
if I'm honest. So, uh, the, the bottom of the world pillar. Uh, there's, there's been some slight shift in items. The bone grinder is now here. The shop has been updated ever so slightly. The bow axes are now available for that, and the discarded device is in the shop now. Uh, it also sells blood metal shards now. There is, I think, a stock limit. Um, but I don't actually know what it is. Um, for some reason, this small area of the map here is no longer there and it just connects up to this weird nubby thing I, again i'm not entirely sure why that is maybe it's something to do with how the 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 maps chopped up i don't know and likewise this uh this room with the bloodstone chunk there uh no longer has a bit to it um but there is a new passageway down here that connects up from the child bed you can only come up you can't go down that way um, there's actually a one-way um, blockable wall down there, if I remember correctly. But yeah, no, no massive changes to that. Gloom Nest has had basically no changes that I can think of. Um, this room with the Flower Fighter in, um, the room's still there. It's just not got a room on the map anymore. When I found Gold Head here well no i found goldhead's corpse here um there was some blood uh blood splinter splinter shards and a chunk there i'm assuming that was because i defeated some boss before i talked to him or something and i'd done something in the wrong order um so i've yet to to find out how that actually works um on this the naked runner is here um and he ends up over here so he kind of teleports down, I think, or maybe he actually teleports through. I'm not sure. It took me a while to find his uh, his ending place because uh, I missed the the in between teleports. But yeah, maybe I'll draw a line on. Oops. If I maybe I'll draw a line on if I actually work my way through there. But I don't think there were any massive changes here, short of some some items that have been replaced with urns of volatile eyes upgrades from. Uh, the previous versions the mobile rock giant still there the other bits and pieces are in the exact same locations this uh map is basically identical save for this tiny section here because you can now get here from the weeping cavity um you can actually get to the beacon really really early the beacon's actually moved across ever so slightly because it used to be there. And there's some level and dust that you can get as well. And this this wall here actually is a breakable one-way thing. So the only way you could have got to it previously, if it hadn't been for this passage, is with uh, some very, very interesting jumping. Be careful, though, because if you do come here from the Weeping Cavity, i.e. you come here really early, the enemies in this area are quite challenging, and you can actually get yourself, and I can't remember how I did this, but you can get yourself up to here. So you can get, I think it's through climbing some ladders, you can get up to, and if you fall down to this ledge here, you cannot escape without using Levelum, because you can't fall that way, because you don't have the air dash yet so you will die and you can't get back up it's not technically a soft lock because you should have probably picked up the level um for returning to the last um surrogate but just watch out for that um because i found that and uh yeah wasn't uh wasn't fun but uh, otherwise everything else is the same in that area Beaster's Lair has had a few changes to it. Most of the major stuff is in the same places as it was originally. There's a new weapon being added in. The tooth fists are now there instead of some kind of, I think it was teeth originally. The Naker Runner is up here. And if I remember correctly, he runs left and down into this room. I killed him. I think it was kind of down there, but he teleports all the way around that particular room. Uh, the amalgam is still there. There's an achievement for the listener. Don't know how you get it. Um, it could be that you have to talk to him in all three locations. I don't know. The shop is still open and still sells the same thing. There's a room that I've added in back there. Everything else, though, 
just off the top of my head is the same as it was previously oh that broken husk is new there as well but all the connections are the same as previously until you get down to this flower fighter room this flower fighter room actually connects over to chill bed so again you can get to chill bed that way you can also get to it if you go further down when you're coming back from nerve root but you won't be able to get very far down here because you need air dash to make any kind of real progress there servant's path is mostly the same as previously there's a couple of slight alterations firstly this little bit here has been raised so there's more stuff up there and in fact this guy here if you run run along from here you jump across to there he will teleport all the way up here he will ping pong around um, across and across and across leading you a merry chase but if you do follow him a you get your your thing for defeating him but you can also quite easily access the motley pearls by the time you've got the all the abilities for that the other new thing in the servant's path is this extended room here um i can't actually remember what was down there i think there might be another naked runner actually on this map i think that might be what i chased down here and i can't remember where i found him i'll find that out on my second uh, playthrough of the dlc this room has been neatened up ever so slightly it's still a bit of a pain in the backside um the the original exit point doesn't quite line up properly so I haven't added that back in. I might have a, a little fiddle around with it. I've just drawn an arrow on instead. Um, and this bit up here, Motley Pearl didn't used to be there. There just used to be one piece of loot up there. But now there's, there's two separate ones. Everything else, though, roughly the same. Carven Palace. Uh, this is another place where there's there's been some rooms removed. This bit underneath the elevator, uh, un underneath the, the entrance surrogate, I'm again I'm not entirely sure why this has been removed I thought it might be because you know there's a map seam there but actually I don't think there is a map seam and something something's gone a little bit wrong there if that's not in the version that you're looking at then chances are it's been fixed um the other things this this bit up here there's there's kind of the passageway has been removed and and this bit over here that uh, the room has kind of been removed so again I've just kind of added them back in i mean if you're looking at a map guide then you don't really care too much about the uh, the spoilery bits there's a new uh, weapon up here the searing sickle for you to have a, a go at it's a strength scythe if i remember correctly that's got a fire self buff um there's a, an extra note about yon's broken torso there because it, it's the game's been out long enough now for for that to not be an issue spoilery wise down here this section has been removed from the map. It's again, it's still there in game, but uh, it doesn't show up on the, the graphic. And this section of the uh, the basement to like the Carven Palace has the prying sickles in it. If you make your way round to the garden from there, everything else though is the same. Took me quite a while to get around and double check everything. This was always the the zone that was quite annoying to to do. Right, garden is where the, the bigger changes start coming in because there are multiple bits and pieces that are new. First of all, the centipede whip's gone, so you can get the motley swords there now instead. There are various uh, changes to the collectibles and the collectible locations around here. That room's been added back in. This room with the garden nerve pass isn't on the map. The garden nerve pass is there, but this little nub isn't on the um the actual in-game map i've kept it there for consistency normally if you come to the garden for the quest you know you'd make your way down here from the palace you go through all of this none of this has really been changed the naked runner um has been added there i must admit off the top of my head i can't remember where he goes i think he heads up down i think he ends up rather down here no he goes up this way and he ends up there that's where you kill him um, this little passageway, for some reason, uh, has been removed. Not entirely sure why. Likewise, this bit of the map here has been removed and this little extended bit of the room there. Um, there used to be a garden ear there. He's gone. Don't know whether he's supposed to be gone, but he is gone, or at least he was gone. 
on the, uh, the the first playthrough of the game that I did. Um, but normally, if you're doing the main story quest, you would have got the, uh, the flower here. It's not there anymore. In fact, there's an entire massive hole in the floor taking you through to... Now, Childbed is, as you can see, a big zone. There are multiple ways that you can get to Childbed. If you're just following the main quest, you'll come in from here. You can drop down, you can talk to the assistant, you can get the Dream Fog uh, surrogate, and you can go and fight the second new boss in the game, the Surrogate Vulture. He's got a couple of faces, and he's not the easiest boss, shall we say. Um, but he gives the, uh, the Hover ability, which is basically necessary in order to actually get the Strand of the Child because you have to hover down there. I don't think there's any other way that you can get to it. One thing to note, there are two beacons in this zone. As far as I can tell, you only need to get one, and that opens up the whole map. I got this one first. I'm assuming there must be a way of getting to this one, but I didn't. Um, so I got three level and dust. It was just there instead there's a lot of new enemies in this zone it is massive and this entire area down here if you were one of the people when you were playing grime the first time thought that the pale sky was nasty because of the platforming quite frankly you are not going to like this section it is far far harder in terms of its platforming and part of that is due to the inclusion of a lot of those kind of thorn barriers that just one shot you and send you back to the spawn points combined with um, some crumbly platforms that you can stand on that explode they are I think the timer goes off on them too quickly. You're supposed to get past them, I believe, by using the new sprint function. The problem is, because you're jumping, and jumping resets your sprint, and you can't sprint as you land from a jump, it, it, it doesn't work, frankly. It was really, really frustrating. But there is a new NPC. There's a new cutscene. Um, there are some new kind of interactable things, a little bit like, actually, the... Uh, the, the golden orbs in the pale sky um this is where the centipede whips got to there's a, a spine axe there's multiple new weapons and new armor sets in this zone um and there's also down here this is the giant of eyes now you can actually get to the giant of eyes much earlier in the game and it is from him that you get the surrogate warp ability it's no longer from shidra um, it's down here, so you can get it probably a third to half of the way through the game, depending on how good you are. He's not an easy fight, though, so uh, good luck with that one. He's um, he's quite quite tasty. This section up here is where the uh, the the kind of weird Wayne blood thing is. Again, this section has been removed from the map. I've added it back in. But yeah, this connects all the way over to the Feaster's Lair. Connects down from the Feaster's Lair that way. Well, Feaster's Lair slash Nerve Root that way. Nerve Root up there. World Pillar, World Pillar. There's loads and loads of ways in. I think there's supposed to be a, a breakable wall up there. I'll, I'll see whether I can add that. Um, oh, it's because this comes up from one of the, the World Pillar spine lifts and it breaks it on the way up. Um, this section here requires a little bit of block pulling. Just getting to it is a pain in the backside. But as I said, if you didn't like the pale sky, you're not going to have a good time with some of these, these challenge rooms over here because they require um, some significant platforming. Uh, with the, the hover mechanic being combined with the self-pull mechanic. And it's not quite as smooth as I would like. There's also a new shop. In case you were wondering what has happened to the, the lithic art trader, you can actually um, find the rock bed trader here. I think it's the same person. 
but it's not really the same person. You'll find out once you get to him. Uh, I thought I'd taken a screenshot of his original stock. I have not. I'll have to get that on the next playthrough. So I've just, for, for now, um, put what he currently sells in my kind of post-game save. But he does have the, the lithic... Um, art trader armor stuff there it's a big zone i'd argue it's a little bit more frustrating to get around than it needs to be um and it it actually means that there's there's a bit of a difficulty spike in in many different ways in this kind of middle section of the game from here you take the the stuff back and you'll you'll go through beyond the barrier as normal there's been no changes to this map there has been no change to this map except the cenotaph city nerf pass room isn't there anymore i don't know why um again the 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 nerf pass is there but the room on the map is not there i assume there's a reason why the pale sky is exactly the same as it was previous with its its amazing pieces of music the top of the world pillar again exactly the same as it was before nothing moved nothing changed there this section is slightly different in terms of its actual appearance but it's there and finally the peak of creation I've got I've left a note on here these pillars weren't here for me on my first playthrough post DLC I don't know why the is an achievement in the new achievements list called kinship which I assume is something to do with these things but I don't know how to make them appear as and when I find out I will add this information in but at the moment I've left them there but I don't know why they weren't there in my actual game those are the updated maps for grime and this video is quite long now if you've stuck it out this far to listen to all the changes that I have found so far there may well be more thanks Thank you very much for the support. I hope you found the video interesting and entertaining. I hope you find good use from the maps. They are available here for free to pick up and use to your heart's content. They are quite, quite large. They took me, uh, let's see, my, my playthrough, of, my full playthrough of Colors of Rot from start to finish took about 20 hours. Uh, I could have got through a lot faster, but I was stopping and starting a lot to check maps and update things as I went. Total time, therefore, to put the maps together was probably about 15-ish hours on top of that. There was a lot of work involved with this because I, I basically had to make a lot of things from scratch because of how my old filing system I'm not going to say worked because it didn't work. That being said, updating these maps in the future should be a lot easier. Now, if you, for some reason, want to actually compare them with the older versions of the maps, they are all here. You can actually see the older versions of the maps. If you uh, want to support the channel, I will be putting a, a kind of zip file bundle together of these that you can buy in my shop or maybe just toss me a donation whatever works for you there will be if i can get it to work like there is here which this is just a blank map of the the base game this is what it looks like originally if i can get it to work and not be so big that it will break the internet i'm actually going to put my big file out there in my coffee.com store in my store um that's not going to be just given away for free um if you want it it's big it's high resolution but if you want to print it out as like a poster or something that is going uh, it'll be pay what you want you know it'll be a, a quid 
um, or more again if you want to to support my endeavors that will be in the coffee.com store link down below if you want to print yourself out a uh, a poster and as and when the maps do get updated obviously that big version will be updated as well so if you get a notification saying things have been updated you can you know if you've bought it you can go and re-download it for free um i wouldn't print anything out just yet because there are still some achievements that i don't have and don't know how to get all of that information will be coming onto the maps as and when they are completed but for now wait i would to print anything out until you see map is feature complete or something in the readme um because it won't be but yeah check out some stuff there i it took me a while to to really go through and and add all those bits in enjoy the maps thank you for any donations that you do make enjoy grime colors of rot i definitely did and i will catch you all in the next metrovania map announcements this probably isn't going to be one until next year now really looking forward to the benedict fox game that's due out next year stay safe cheerio thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time cheerio